YouTube is it going? The Goat House is back with the top 100 players in the NFL, but this list a little different according created by you guys, the fans. A lot of you got the chance to create your top 25 ballot. We took all those, put them together. It pumped out a top 100 players list. If you want to get involved in stuff like this, follow our Twitter, join our Discord. Links in the comments for that. You see the point system for all this on your screen. Uh, we'll do, reveal this throughout four videos. The final one will be a top 10 reveal. This is the first. We're going to go from 100 to 71 in this video a massive shout out to a couple guys down here here's their twitters cameron sullivan and answer especially cameron sullivan put this all together did all the math and he made 100 graphics for this so that is a ton of work not possible without him saves me a lot of time a lot to get to for the nfl season so i can't thank these guys enough absolutely huge uh helping us out uh, on stuff like this so really appreciate those guys 100 to 71 here is the list here is video one. A uh, center starts it off. The Raven center, Tyler Linderbaum. So some center love by you guys. And I'm reacting this as we go because, of course, this is not my list. The fans created this. So really excited to see. And we see the highest rank uh, in that in those top 25 ballots. So somebody ranked Linderbaum at 23. That's pretty generous. I know he's a very good center. Um, but somebody a big fan of Linderbaum when making their ballot there. So they were hoping that he uh, makes the list. He does. I, I like the center love. I'd imagine we see some more centers, guys like Frank Ragnow, uh, Creed Humphrey, guys like that. Uh, but we will see. So there, there you have it for number 100. Number 99 is Terry McLaurin. A lot of people think you're a little bit of an underrated receiver, so it's good to see he cracks the list here. I'm very curious to see the, how the receivers come off the board here, how many and how they come off the board because there's a lot of good receivers. You know, when debating like top 10, top 15, top 20 receivers, it's tough, tough to do because there's so many guys, you know, like Terry McLaurin that feel like top 10 receivers. So somebody ranked him as high as 23. He comes in at 99. Uh, this one was a little surprising. I thought if I had to guess where the fans would rank Saquon Barkley, I, I would have guessed a little, a little higher. So down at 98. Uh, but the Giants running back, who is now the Philadelphia Eagles running back, highest rank was also 23. Um, but yeah, I was surprised he didn't end up coming a little higher. I think he's going to play even better for the Philadelphia Eagles this year with that. How good the roster is, but how good that offensive line is. And they typically make running backs look better than they are. And we already know Saquon Barkley is that good. So uh, Barkley comes in at 98. I want to see your guys' reaction You know, in the comments, like guys too low, snubs, things like that. Uh, 97, Jeremiah Wusu karamo who really broke out last year. Another guy that's highest rank was 23. Uh, was you know flying around the football field, tackle for loss machine. So this is kind of an up-and-comer. I'd imagine he continues to climb up the ranks as his young career goes on here. So good to see him making the list. Uh, Derek Brown at 96, the Panthers' stout defensive tackle who is uh, – Broke out even further last year. Really, really did. He played had an outst outstanding year. A really dominant run stuffer. Not really getting by him. That's kind of the guy we saw at Auburn, like who we thought could be that top tier run stopper. Um, highest ranked twenty three for him. Another one I'm a little surprised on. I thought he would be ranked much higher. Whenever I, you know, me when I discuss like top defensive tackles or ranked defensive tackles lately, like over this last year. Um, majority of the comments are like, yeah, Derek Brown should be at the top or toward very, you know, towards the very top. So a uh, lot of Derek Brown fans out there. So I would expected him to be ranked a little higher, but he does make the cut uh, of the top 100, according to the fans. So him at 96, uh, we got some punter love here. Tressway, the commander's punter comes at 95. His highest rank was 22. So good to see some punter love. I think people are going to have a problem uh, that, Way is ranked ahead of guys like Derek Brown, Saquon Barkley. So, you know, any top 100 list, any list like this, there's going to be some debates. It's going to be some controversial takes, but it makes it pretty interesting for sure. Uh, 94 is Kyler Murray. That one probably be debated a little bit. Uh, I think everyone's different on Kyler Murray. They know what he, with the talent he has inside of him, they know what he could be. And some people have been a little disappointing. Uh, this year will be a huge one for him in the Cardinals as he is starting, you know, fresh, healthy, week one. Highest rank twenty one, uh, ninety three is Raheem Mostert. He came, you know, twenty two is his highest rank. So definitely a few people ranking him. Yeah, he had a monstrous year last year, and that was even while they were kind of getting H and going a little bit too. So um, yeah, Mostert's always been underrated, even going back to the 49ers. 
days, you know, and, and people kind of maybe just doubted him because his durability, or maybe the 49ers look running backs, make running backs look better. So maybe people doubted him, but um, looked absolutely insane for the Dolphins last year. So he comes in at 93, another running back at 92. It's Kyron Williams who had a breakout year uh, at number 92 and his highest rank was 22. Yeah, he was, he was dominant last year. I know he does have some durability concerns. He is, he is a little undersized for his style of play. He plays way stronger than he looks like he'll lower the shoulder, run somebody over, uh, you know, so maybe that's kind of causing some durability issues, but Man, he's good. He has some explosiveness to him too. So, uh, you know, good to see him succeeding. Was one of my favorite college players from the last uh, several years. I'm a Notre Dame fan, so that that'll do it. But, um, yeah, and the Rams made that offense line even better. It feels like now too. So, as long as he stays healthy, maybe splitting with Blake Corum, um, he's a special running back in this league. So, it was one of the better ones last year. So he comes at 92. So Williams, Kyron Williams, 92, and Raheem Mostert ranked ahead of Saquon Barkley. I'm sure there'll be some debates about that in the comments. 91, Andrew Thomas, who was beat up last year. But after the previous season, the Giants' very good season, uh, we were talking about Andrew Thomas, you know, possibly being the tack, like the tackle of the future, maybe number one or definitely top three. But need to see more of that. Need to see him stay healthy. But he comes in at 91. Somebody ranked him as high as 20. Two, Josh Jacobs, another running back. A lot of running backs come off the board here. He comes in at 90, highest ranked 21. I think Josh Jacobs can be even better now. The, for the Packers to move on from a star running back, Aaron Jones, for another star running back, you know, they know what they're doing. They, they know something. And Josh Jacobs is a young back that's only getting better um, behind that pa- in that Packers system. Uh, very well coached by LaFleur and in behind that Packers offensive line, which seems to run block very, very well, pretty consistently. Um He's going to be very good. He's going to be very, very good. I I would not be surprised if he was, uh, you know, chances are Christian McCaffrey's going to be known as the best running back. Well, he is the best running back in football. But for this year alone, I would not be surprised if we're talking about Josh Jacobs having the best 2024. I could definitely see it if he stays healthy. Um, so I have some high praise for him in that new his new system with the Packers. Uh, number 90, highest ranked 21. Puka Nakua, second year, going to be a second year player, getting some love here. Highest ranked 21, he comes in at 89. Yeah, he had an insanely productive rookie season, was definitely rookie of the year caliber. Just happened to be in the same rookie class as C.J. Stroud. Uh, if I had a nitpick, he could catch the ball a little more uh, consistently, and that could kind of take him up another notch. Uh, but excited to watch him in his second year. He comes in at 89. Uh, Justin Matabuke, who had a monstrous breakout season. I'm surprised he's not ranked a little better. Uh, then 88, but maybe some people a little hesitant to put in their top 25 because it was kind of a one-year thing, but I think he did enough to prove that he can do that again. So he, his highest rank was number 20. He comes in at 88. A lot of good players come off the board, so very curious to see um, who's left here. Demario Davis at 87, highest rank is 20. Yeah, been a very, I mean, as consistent as they come of a middle linebacker. Does he finally take a step down? Um, it's got to come at some point, but he's just such a consistent beast uh, for the Saints, you know, leader of that defense. Uh, so not a surprise that he comes in at 87. Uh, 86, Brandon Ayuk. I'm blocking it, but it's 86, highest ranked 20. Uh, and Ayuk kind of kind of some things going on with him, obviously. Does he get traded? Does he play for the Niners? You know, what if he plays for the Commanders or the Raiders, teams like that, or the Patriots? Do you, do fans think as highly of him because he's in a pretty good system? But at the same time, it's a system that runs the football a lot. So could he actually get more action if he's elsewhere? But I don't think the Niners want to trade him, obviously, but doesn't mean they absolutely won't when it comes down to it. But, yeah, definitely a guy to watch going into the season. Even if he's not traded, does he play for the Niners? Uh, we will see. 85, Micah Hyde. Um I'm a little surprised, honestly, that Hyde made the list. Not that he's not worthy. Very good player. Um, you know, still a free agent. He's actually said he's, he feels like he's going to play for the Bills or he's going to retire, so we'll see what happens there. But really good playmaking safety. Been in the league for a long time. Been a crucial part of some or, uh, some key organizations, some really good football teams. Uh, you know, even going you know back to the Packers. Uh, highest rank was 19. So some Micah Hyde love there. Uh, very good football player. I'm, yeah, I'm just surprised. I'm surprised he's ahead of some of the star players that we talked about, even though he's very good. I'm surprised about this one too. Josh Allen, 84, one of the taking over as one of the better edge rushers in the NFL. Reason he got that contract, uh, I, I thought he'd be much better ranked than 84. I'm surprised by the fans here. Um, but next year when we do this, 
Uh, and maybe more people get involved, you know, now, you're, now that you're watching this one, and that could change some things. But highest rank 18. Something I noticed at training camp, he looks like he's a little more built even. Um, he looked a little like last year looked a little more cut. Now he looks at a little more size, I guess, a little more to him. So I, I'll see how that uh, affects his play. I wouldn't imagine it would in a bad way, but uh, and it is Joshua Hines Allen um, now as well. That's that's nice, you know, split up the Josh Allen's there. But highest rank 18, I'm very surprised. I think he's a little too low if it was up to me. Uh, and there is Joe Tooney coming at 83, one of the better guards in the NFL. Highest rank is 18. So that one kind of makes sense. Could even rank him higher than that because he's one of the better guards in football. And the guard value is skyrocketing right now in the NFL. Uh, 82, Debo Samuel. That's He's an interesting one He when, when it comes to... Uh, Fans takes, just gathering fans takes over the years. Uh, and then it's he's tough to rank uh, whether you're ranking receivers. Like if you're just going to make a receivers only list. And then when you're just ranking NFL players in general. To me, it's different because of players like this. And you see the highest rank is 16. So there's probably people that just did not rank them. And there's people that have them around there. Um, but why I think it's different is because he is more than a receiver. But is he a... Like when you're talking wide receiver, like main the main things that wide receivers do is you know downfield separation, catch the ball, um, you know just get yards, touchdowns. Is he as good as your typical wide receivers? You know those guys got a little more of that receiver game to him, but he's so important, does so much more behind or along just beyond the line of scrimmage that in terms of football player, like he seems like a better football player overall than than um, you know, many players that people think are better than him in general. So to me, that's a football guy. It's a football player, well well deserving of being in the top 100 list. He is super important, more important than I think people think. Um, maybe not. The guy that ranked him at 16, I think, agrees that he's insanely important. Um, but good to see him on the list here uh, at uh, 82. And another receiver here, definitely, definitely a different style of receiver, but both very physical. DK Metcalf coming at 81, highest ranked 15. Um, yeah, my favorite thing about DK is the physicality, the contested catch ability. I mean, those receivers are kind of dying off a little bit, right? It's everyone's looking for Justin Jefferson separation ability or Tyree kills speed. Uh, it, you know, the size, you, you, the build doesn't really matter anymore because you're looking for those types of guys and the guys like th- the, this style end up being bust these days, but everyone's, if you're looking for this style, it was kind of Mike Evans by himself for a little bit there. And then DK Metcalf came along and you know, guys like Drake London coming up. Uh, there's more than that, but, um, so it's, my point is, it's very impressive. The guy must be obviously is insane, insanely good. If he's able to work in today's NFL and succeed with that being that style of receiver. And he's a little more than that. Obviously he has the athletic ability, um, but coming in at 81 DK, decaf Metcalf, uh, 80 TJ Hawkinson, who looked like one of the better tight ends before getting injured last year in football, just an absolute weapon, uh, that we kind of expected to be coming out of Iowa, um, quite a few years ago uh, highest ranked 12 so somebody ranked him pretty high but he did there was most of the season last year I'm going like this this is the best tight end in football this year that's like I thought it was clear that it felt like that and the Vikings started struggling a little bit he got injured it was really late in the year um but he looked that good so he comes in at 80 well deserving there uh number 79 Derek Stingley Jr. with a big breakout year last year I'm excited about that because he looks so good I mean, the second half of the season, he looked good all year, but the second half of the season, he really took off. Like, And it was like, wow, this guy is special. But I'm like, we knew that. Remember right away, freshman year at LSU, we knew this guy was a star. He was going to be a future star. And he was drafted extremely, extremely early, actually right before Sauce Gardner. So it shouldn't really be a surprise that he's as good around that range. And we still want to see more to say that firmly. Uh, but very excited to watch him in year two. Uh, under D'Amico Ryans Um, you know very excited about that somebody ranked him as high as 10 Um, that's pretty high but he is an up-and-comer here as long as he's healthy it's gonna be a special player 78 another corner Trevon Diggs I think fans are another guy that fans are pretty split on Um, you know he missed all of last year so I'm a little surprised maybe maybe or maybe some people are gonna be surprised he made the list but I would rank him the top 100 because I think he's very very good some people don't like him because even in his really good year all pro year a couple of years ago, he did give up, uh, you know, a decent amount of yards, but um, he ran as much man coverage as anyone. People, you know, got to realize you're going to give up. You, anyone running man is going to give up more than the guys that run more of zone. Um, he's going to run more zone this year, though, because Mike Zimmer's coming in there. 
Um, you know, Dan Quinn was a massive man coverage guy. I'm sure Zimmer's going to run some, of course. But, um, yeah, Diggs is one of the league's best playmakers. Uh, hopefully he bounces back from that injury. We had back-to-back corners there. There's Mike Evans. You got a shout-out already They're on this video, and here he is. Um, highest ranked 10. And maybe the best contested catch uh, receiver, I, I suppose debatable, but in, in all of football, still balling out. Um, you know, help Baker really revive his career, uh, of course. Um, so I think some people would say this is a little too low. He should be ranked a little higher than 77. I can definitely see that. But I'm very curious to see everyone's takes in the comments. Um, you know, after this video, we got four of these to get to. Uh, and here's Aaron Rodgers. I am blocking it. He is 76. Highest rank was 10. Another very difficult one to, to rank because uh, we haven't really seen him. We can't really count the very, very, very beginning of the one game last year. We haven't really seen him play for the Jets away from the Packers, who seem to just make players look good because the system and how good they are at finding talent in general, guys that are they're already good going in there. Um, but also coming off the injury, the Achilles tear, uh, how he is at that age, I'm sure he's going to be solid if he's on the field. So very tough one to rank. Like I could see a scenario where he plays like the Aaron Rodgers. Like I could definitely see that scenario. And then you're ranking him top 10, at least top 20. Uh, and it, you can see a scenario where maybe yeah, he's a little declined a little bit. He's a little iffy after that injury. And maybe you're not ranking him in the top 100. So uh, that is a very interesting one. Uh, if he's on the field all year, I'd imagine he ends up being better than number 76, which he does come in and on this list. Uh, 75, a little bit of a surprising one, but it is a good player. And Bobby Okereke, the Giants linebacker, former Colts linebacker, was the first year with the Giants last year. And what did it, as you see, is the highest rank all the way over there of four. So probably a Giants fan got in there uh, and, and ranked him as high as four, but he was very solid, impressive, better than expected last year. Um, not that we expected bad play, but linebackers transitioning different to different schemes usually is a little bit of a learning curve for some reason I noticed. Uh, but he handled it very well. I even feel like he felt like he got better. But it's a little bit different of a system coming in there because uh, the defensive coordinator changed once again for the Giants. So uh, Okereke got some big time love with that rank of four. A couple, few more here. Um, Devin Witherspoon, second year corner. From the Seahawks, he was the you know, rookie last year. This is going to be his second year. It was very fun to watch. I, I mean, I, I think what everyone goes nuts about is you know his downhill ability, the physicality, the, the ability to make a play, and those things are great. But where today's league is heading, uh, versatile defensive backs are the key. They're, they're the most valuable. And you see, typically you see, he's not a safety, but you see these safeties that do different things getting paid so much money uh, you know, because they do different things. Like Winfield plays free safety and he plays in the slot. Uh, and then fi- being able to find like lockdown corners that can make an impact. But if you can add that versatility, which Witherspoon has, because uh, he played close to 50-50% of his snaps in the slot versus outside, uh, kind of just put him where you need him. Because sometimes those outside guys, like the slot, to me, I played corner growing up, not at a super high level. Um, but I thought inside was harder than outside for me. Um uh, and I'm, I was a little on the shorter side. Usually the shorter guys are better inside for some reason, like the quicker guys rather than the faster guys. That was kind of me, but I thought the short, the inside was more difficult. Everyone's probably different, di- different, but sometimes those outside corners that have this length, they struggle inside and you got this guy that can play. He's up here for both inside and outside. So he's an extremely valuable player. He's just got to stay healthy. You know, his play style, not the biggest dude, his play style uh, does kind of put him in that situation where, Cross your fingers, hope he, he stays healthy, even though he's a tough dude. So that's definitely an up-and-comer. I would assume probably climbs this list more and more. Uh, 73, Jameer Gibbs. Loved watching Jameer Gibbs, even dating back to Georgia Tech. Uh, I remember seeing uh, – I was watching an ACC d- defender getting ready for the draft a few years ago, and I'm like, man, this Georgia Tech running back is legit. Uh, and then another year later, he transfers to Alabama. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I, th- I think we saw something right there, and he was a stud for Alabama, and they kind of limited him a little bit even. Um, you know, And he was so good for the Lions last year. I mean, so dynamic, kind of fitting where the league is heading. So special one here. Coming in at 73, I would imagine he continues to climb the list. Um, right now he's only splitting with Dave Montgomery, too, who's another incredible back. Um, you know, So that's crazy. Like splitting, people even call him for him more, and he's still making this list coming in at 73, highest ranked 21. Two more back-to-back Lions. Jared Goff, 
uh, who's really revived his career, looked like a special player right away with the Rams, like he had uh, maybe elite in his future. And I don't know what happened there. Like something kind of – something – happened to him and it's a really good system with McVay but it is a very complex system so maybe just a little too complex uh for a guy like that that doesn't really a change talent right um and and the Lions do simplify things but they really get the strength out of Jared Goff and he played incredibly well last year where people doubt him I even doubt him a little bit I knew he'd be good but I doubt him a little bit because I thought teams would game plan a little more properly compared to the year before uh and they I thought they did and he still Went out there and balled out and had one of the better teams in football. Definitely one of the better NFC teams. So and deserved uh, or got a huge contract. So he comes in at 72 back to back Detroit Lions there. Uh, and the last one for this video again, we're gonna split them up. So the next video will be 70 down to 41, and then we'll do um, 40 down to 11, and the top 10 will have its own video. So last one here for this video, Trey Hendrickson, 71. I think he's a little underrated. I mean he. he you know, he's not as flashy, I guess, as some of the other pass rushers with, you know, with their explosiveness and speed, even though he does have some explosiveness to him. So maybe that's it. Um, but he is very consistently good, uh, both versus the pass and versus the run, which there was some doubts about that and him being consistent on uh, in complete, uh, you know, even when he was pretty decent with the Saints. Uh, so, and he's looking for a new an adjustment to his contract. So maybe that's, you know, that's interesting, but, um, comes in at number 71, very consistent, very physical, very tough, uh, defensive end in the, in this league. Uh, very curious to what happens him in the near future, but the Bengals do need him as of right now, but they do have some guys in line, I guess. Miles Murphy, I, I think has a lot of upside. Uh, but highest rank was 21 from him. So obviously there's some other guys who had, who had higher highest ranks, but obviously he got, this means he got more love. He had more actual ranks in the ballots of top of the top 25s here for all these different fans that that played along. Again, if you wanted to be involved in stuff like this in the future, we're always involving people. But uh, links in the comments, follow our Twitter or X, and then join that Discord. There's a link down there as well. Uh, a lot of guys that set this up are always talking. Again, special thanks to those guys. Cameron Sullivan lit it up here, but we're not done. Uh, we got more to get to in some future videos. We're going to get through this this week. It's going to all these videos will come out this week. So I'm excited to reveal these things. Um, but yeah, I want to hear you guys. I didn't want to do too many. I felt like we showed a lot in this video. I don't want too many because I want everyone to kind of talk about debate what we saw. Uh, but we'll get to the next video will be the next one there, but a lot to get to before the season starts. A lot of final predictions, a lot of breakout players, got a fa couple fantasy videos to get to. So really excited. Uh, cannot wait for those week one pickums, my favorite weekly pickums. Hopefully you join us. We also have sponsors link pinned in the comments. A liquid IV is a big one. Code GOAT for a percentage off. Absolutely love that stuff. It's gonna do it. Thanks everyone for watching. Goodbye.